Broke your stuff again. <sighs> Hi everyone, so in the last video about how to farm premium on fresh character I've got crazy amount of comments like it's impossible, it's completely impossible Bro, what you mean I've got on the runes from chest? Bro, I'm dying, please help <laughs> Just breeze, we're gonna do it again from fresh character to premium Guys, don't forget to press like button, subscribe because it's really important for me one more thing that I need to say that I'm from Ukraine and my English sometimes can be awful But I hope that we will understand each other Let's start So I think that there is no reason to show you how to get this 3 days free premium Cause you just need to go through in-game tutorial and you'll be fine Only thing that you need to know that you need to craft tier 2 swords, mercenary jacket, clothes sandals and cowl When you got your free premium, just go to the nearest town. For me it's Stafford, but it doesn't matter at all. On your way to town, just kill few mobs, cause we need to level up our gear to tier 4 and earn some silver. You can use these points to do it faster. When we can use tier 4 gear, it's time to talk about our main build. Alright, we need to buy dual swords, mercenary jacket, mage cowl and scholar sandals. A little bit later we're gonna change our scholar sandals to royal sandals Cause for now it costs around 30-40k and it's too expensive for us If you have extra money just buy tier 3 horse You can also buy tier 4 cape Now our main goal is to level up tier 8 river With this river we will be able to farm tier 8 mobs You can level up it just by farming roaming mobs in black zones and bro, please, don't buy expensive gear, 4.1 is more than enough for you. Cause if you die in 4.1 it's okay, just buy another and go further. Also you will earn pretty good amount of silver, and from time to time these mobs can drop pretty good loot. If you open your inventory and you saw that you have more than 200k, just immediately go and stash it. If you want, you can even try to fight another players. If you die, you use 4.1, who cares. But if you're a new player, it's better just not to fight at all. Remember, your main goal is to level up tier 8 reward. If you think that I'm not dying at all, you're wrong. Only in black zone I died around 15 times and I've got only one good kill, so it's better not to fight at all, guys. Oh, and don't forget to change your sandals to royal, cause we will need it later. Finally, I level up tier 8 river. For you it's few seconds, for me it's dead nerve cells. I played this game for 2 years, so it's okay. Alright, you level up this river. You also level up your build. Now you need to sell all your stuff that you farm. Ok, you probably earn around 1 mil And now is the hardest part for most of the new players You need to farm 100k in Fami It means you should PvP Yes, you probably gonna die, but don't panic bro I'm gonna show you two builds First one is for players with experience And second is for the new players Bro, even Carrot can play on it, believe me Even if you have two hands but only one finger, you can play on it bro Almost forgot, you need to go to Corleone city Cause it's just much better to go corrupted from the city Ok, let's talk about first option for PvP You should buy 5.1 dual swords Mercenary jacket Royal sandals Fiend cowl and tether cape As a consumables buy Fury snapper Regular soup, Giga potions, and healing potions tier 6 or tier 4. But anyway, this build is pretty expensive and it's pretty hard to play on it, so even if you know how to do it, just better take second option. Your first fights may be insanely easy. 
because there is zero infamy guys with weird builds. Sometimes they don't even use spells at all. Let's watch some fights and after I'll show you second option. I don't wanna teach you how to play on this build because if you have some experience you already know how to do it. And if you are a new player just don't play on it. Let me show you our second build. For that build you need to level up Curse Skull. But don't panic bro, it takes around 10 minutes of your time. First of all, you need to buy tier 2 fire staff. Any heavy boots, leather hood tier 2 and tier 3, and curse staff. Go black zone, kill few mobs with your fire staff. You will open tier 3 curse staff. Kill few mobs with this curse staff. Now you need to open this level 3 curse spell. You don't need to buy a curse skull to do it, just kill mobs with your tier 3 curse staff. At the same time you will open tier 4 hoods and tier 4 heavy boots, so don't even bother about it. Cool, now we need to buy 4.2 curse skull, mercenary jacket, hunter hood and any heavy boots. Take the same spells as me. We don't even need to buy a Tetford Cape, we're good with regular. As consumables take Kermit Snapper and Healing Potions. If you don't know how to play on this build, just find this video on my channel guys. There is all information in detail step by step how you can do it. But in most of the cases you just need to stack your Q spell on your enemy. Little bit kite him. If you are on low health, use your combination mercenary jacket plus your e spell. You can also use this combination to heal up on mobs. You need to remember only one thing, the main source of your damage is your Q spell. Your enemy can counter your heal if he for example using cleric rope, so in this scenario just better fight near the mobs and heal up on mobs. Let's push some fight and after that I'm gonna show you our next steps.
I wanna know your secrets I wanna be your lifeline So I wait for you, wait for me Wait for you, wait for me Tell me you're more than just a highlight Pretty pictures on the outside I hate to stare at you through these lights So I wait for you, wait for me Wait for you, wait for me Click and scroll, I can't let you go They say I'm addicted to you Click and scroll, I can't let you go They say I'm addicted to you Oh, oh, this ain't love, no, no This ain't love, no, no This is artificial So I need to say that I died using dual sword build and zero times using curse call. I've got 100k in payment that means that we can enter Slayer Corrupted level. We're gonna talk about that a little bit later. Now we need to buy build for farming our premium. First of all check this NPC in Cardone City. If you have this point, spend it now, you can buy chest and typhoon energy. So you will be able to earn a little bit silver. Now let's talk about our main build. We need at least 1200 item power to enter corrupted slayer level. First of all, we need dual sword 7.1, mercenary jacket 6.1, but outstanding quality, mage cobble 7.1. Royal Sandals 5.3 and Network Cape 5.3. As a consumables, buy invisibility potions at least two. Avalonian Beef Sew, you can buy 8.0 or 6.0. And tier 4 poisons. Take these spells. Now we can enter a corrupted slayer level. If you click on that drop down menu, you can see that we have three options. We need to choose Slayer. Now let's talk about basics. You can see there is a statue. Just ignore it, don't trigger it. How it works? If you trigger that statue, there is around 100% chance that other players will invade your dungeon. If you don't, that chance is much lower. So just don't trigger it. Now a little bit about what you need to do. In each corrupted dungeon we have 4 chests. 
need to finish that corrupted quest to enter another dungeon. You can do it just by killing mobs. When you finish this quest, there is no chance that other players invade your dungeon. So you need to do it really fast. There is few tips for you. You should kill only big group of mobs and bosses of course. Also try to kill mobs that slows your movement speed. It should take for you around 7-8 minutes to finish one dungeon. In my previous video there was a guy that farmed one dungeon around 15-20 minutes. Of course he had insanely high chance that someone invade his dungeon. So when you finish one dungeon just click on that portal and go next. Now let's talk about what you should do when someone invades your dungeon. First of all, swap spells like that. Also, don't forget about your invisibility potion. If you open your map, you can see there is a 5 red crystals. You need to break it to kick your enemy from your dungeon. When you see your enemy, first use your boots and only then invisibility potion. Never try to fight him, just run away. And don't forget to stash your loot. When you farm around 500k, just go city and stash it. Always keep in mind that if you die, you need new gear, guys. And it's okay to die in this type of content, bro. I died around 4 times to boss boosted Balenciaga bows. So don't burn, remember that Jesus loves you, go buy another build and go further. Now let's talk about shitty loot. I also got this room in chest, guys. And yes, you can get this room 10 times in a row. But there is my advice, guys, just don't give up. Do it non-stop and everything will be fine. Just believe me. Okay, let's watch chest opening a little bit. Ok bro, let's check our final results. As you can see there is even more than premium, so what can I say, this method still work, you just need to spam it and don't give up. If you like this video please subscribe, comment, it will help me a lot. Ok guys, see you soon.